The White House is defending Vice President Kamala Harris after reports of dysfunction. Uh, they said she had a lack of focus, <sighs> her and her staff. I mean, it's all over the place. We've been reporting on the lowest poll numbers for a vice president in history, I believe at 28 percent. I think context mm -hmm. is everything, okay? Let's be clear <laughs> here, okay? We've never had a, a vice president of color. We've never had a female vice president. So you can take your poll mm -hmm. numbers and, okay, is what you can do with your poll numbers. Listen, mm -hmm. the, the, the attacks, the vitriol, the lack of foresight by, and I'm just talking about from the administration, we can get to the outsiders, okay? All of these leaked reports and nonsense. I think a couple of things are going down here. Um, and, and, and we can get to Jen Psaki's statement in a moment. She gave uh, that blanket mm -hmm. support and called out some specific issues that Kamala Harris is charged with leading. But I think to be clear here, there are some people within the Biden orbit who don't like this narrative of he's going to do one term and then turn over the Democratic Party and the presidency, if everything goes according to plan, to this woman, this woman of color who loves a pantsuit, mm. okay? I don't think mm -hmm. there's some people close to the president who want that narrative to continue, and they want to get the message out right before the bloodbath that is expected to be in the midterms. Well, yeah, I, I can see that happening um, because Biden uh, will be 82, I believe, uh, come 2024. He'll be 86 at the end of his second presidency if he's uh, reelected. Uh, but I think that will be kind of asinine, to be quite honest with you. Why wouldn't you want to keep uh, Harris uh, in the know, in the in the running, uh, making her feel a big part of the team, uh, energizing the Democratic Party uh, because this is part of your administration? But you're right, Sharon. I don't know why this is even an issue because how many vice presidents have you heard of in your lifetime since you've been around outside of Dick Cheney? Because Dick Cheney ran the country when George W. Bush was the president. Everybody knows that. He did. Uh, how many uh, vice presidents actually got this much, I don't know, even notoriety? They're usually in the background. Nobody says anything about them. They preside over the Senate. That are deciding vote if it's 50 50 we understand that but at the same time it's like why is this even an issue you talk about the poll numbers and yes they <laughs> I, I read them yesterday talking about the lowest in modern history but uh the president's poll numbers aren't that great <laughs> to be quite honest with you right now so uh, when those numbers higher, go up i'm pretty it. sure her numbers will go up as well and yeah and and her being the first woman we still live in a very misogynist society here in the united states and obviously, we don't even have to talk about the racism that we still have to deal with in this country. She's dealing with that double sort of negative coming out of the vice presidential yeah. role. Not coming from me, but double negative here in America when it comes to being the vice president of the United States. So, yeah, these reports coming out, I don't know why they're coming out. I don't know what the purpose of them coming out or whatnot. But to me, it, it, it's a non-story until... Uh, 2024 when it is time to uh, for Biden to run for re-election again and to see if Kamala Harris is his running mate or if Biden doesn't run and the, the, the torch is sort of passed to her to be the future of the Democratic Party. Yeah. So it's being floated out there, gossip, and then let's, let's, let's roll Jen Psaki in just a moment, but it's being uh, put out there as gossip that the president should get rid of Kamala by uh, somehow, when there's a vacancy, nominating her to the Supreme Court. And that way, uh, I did a great thing. I still can get your vote, and it can clear the way for someone who has uh, perhaps more ability to energize the ticket. But here's what Jen Psaki had to say uh, at the podium yesterday. She's a key partner. She's a bold leader. And she is somebody who has taken on incredibly important assignments, uh, whether it is addressing the root causes of migration at the Northern Triangle or taking on a uh, core cause of democracy in voting rights. Okay, so she named two issues there, Michael. Migration and um, voting mm. rights. Those are two L's. For this administration, mm -hmm. those are two L's. Yeah, do not somebody come said here. We can throw up she the, probably should right? have brought that one up. We can, <laughs> does that, hi? we can throw up the tweet, too, Ooh, and keep talking about it in our remaining time. But there's mm -hmm. this. She also mm -hmm. talks about expanding broadband 
along with, you know, mm. migration and voting rights. Again, two L's. If somebody can get me the information, the documentation on whether broadband has now been expanded, perhaps that's the one W out of the three. I don't know. I don't know if everybody who mm -hmm. lives right, in rural part parts has access. Right. Okay. Okay. But it hasn't happened mm. yet. Mm. So mm. she. This is another yeah. criticism and part of what's being pushed out there. That narrative that you know she's being deliberately placed on these uh, losing issues. Now I don't know if that's true because I don't know that anybody thought we still can't get a watered down voting rights policing act. We can't get any of that done. But I just think it's, it's, you guys stink. You guys really stink out there to sit up here and do this little goofy Washington insider thing that you do. And now you're going to try to do it to black girl magic. And there's a whole lot of us who are going to say, you're mm -hmm. not going to do that. And I, I'm not even talking about politics here. I'm not talking about politics. Right. I'm talking about, there you go. You do what you do. There you go again. You're trying to do mm -hmm. what you do. But Sharon is um, here. It is. It's working. Cause guess what? People are talking about it. Jennifer Saki had to talk mm -hmm. about it. We just talked about it for the last four minutes. That's what people write these hit it's pieces true. for because they want clicks. They want people talking about it. Unfortunately, a lot of times when we talk about these issues, it usually has to do with black and brown people and a lot of women as mm -hmm. well. So uh, they need to energize the party one way or the other uh, in the Democratic Party. And I know you're going to be talking to Aisha Mills He's not coming the up. President. Uh, I, I'm curious about the He's future the of. Yeah, exactly. So why is she even getting this notoriety me? as a mm -hmm. vice president when usually mm -hmm. the vice president doesn't get mm -hmm. that notoriety?